it's your girl miss rest if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos hi welcome please subscribe if you're one of my old gloves hey boo y'all know i love you so much if you never watch one of my videos my channel is all about natural hair beauty weight loss journey vlogs all that great stuff and usually that's how my favorite videos go also so it's a mixture of all the great things that i love so it is now time for march favorites i haven't done a favorites video in like two months i don't believe so some of the stuff i have been using over the to um the past i think one or two months i didn't do one somewhere whatever i put the last one in the little description bar in the little eye in the corner let's hop right into it so we're going to start off with natural hair and this right here I must say this product was not a favorite of mine. This product is the Hollywood Beauty Olive Cluster Raw Super Shine and Moisturize. Deep treating, deep conditioning cream for damaged hair. Lord, I can't read. Okay, Hollywood Beauty Olive Cluster Raw basically is a deep conditioner, okay? And I don't really like anything from Hollywood Beauty. The oils are not real. Like, everything is kind of just fake. And um, I actually got this as a gift i believe i believe i got this from my sister and i use this on my regular hair routine journey uh hair routine for my natural hair and i hated it this this did nothing for my natural for my natural hair it did not deep condition it did not moisturize it or anything so caressa why is it in your favorites video well because i decided to pre-poo with this i wanted to um Put this on my dry natural hair. Now, I do not have low porosity hair. I have like one section in the back of my hair that's low porosity. All the rest of my hair is either normal porosity or high porosity. Um, so, a lot of people who are low porosity, they recommend doing deep treatment on dry, on dry natural hair because it allows it to take a longer time to, to soak in your hair. Um, blah, 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 blah. There's video, video, many videos on low porosity hair. I'm not going to preach about it because, like I said, I don't have it like that. So, um, I tried uh, deep conditioning on dry. <laughs> now, I cannot talk today, y'all. I'm sorry. I tried deep conditioning on dry natural hair, and I didn't feel like it was any benefit for me. I felt like it was a waste of product. So, anyways, I wanted to pre-poo, and I said, hey, I have this whole big jar because this is a huge container. This is 20 ounces, you guys, and this is very cheap product. It does not cost that much. I believe it's like only three or four bucks for this huge jar. I was like, let me put this on my dry natural hair um, and just just to see if it'll do anything. You guys, this product on my dry natural hair though, though, oh my gosh, I will show you, I will plan on doing an updated um, natural hair routine video and I will show you how this works. My hair loves this product dry. Oh my, like immediately on dry hair, no water, not even before I add some oil because I did add some coconut oil and then put a cap on it and I slept with that overnight. I've done that a couple times now. Oh my God, my curls just pop immediately. Definitely a favorite. I've been using it for the past month now. I think that's all for natural hair. Moving on to skincare. These wipes right here. I got these wipes from roses i don't know if you have a local roses in your town but they were a great deal because they are 60 wipes for two dollars and i mentioned them before i had the vitamin c wipes and those made my skin oily for some reason my skin became very oily so i hesitated on using these but i already had them and i'm lazy and i didn't feel like taking them back to the store but these are the aloe vera infused makeup cleansing wipes and these work awesome they remove my makeup just as well as the other vitamin C ones, but they do not make my skin oily. Like, thumbs up for this right here. Totally have been my favorites. We'll be purchasing more of those. On to makeup. This bad boy. You've all probably seen this everywhere, but I could not get my hands on this at all. They, they do not sell this locally. I had to go outside of my town to get this product. So if you do not know, this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer in the color orange. This is the orange corrector you use this if you are a person of color or no, or if you have dark circles. So any darker spots, um, hyperpigmentation, things like that. Um, because even if you're not a person of color, you still may have dark spots. It kind of adds darkness. So you will only use that in the spots that are dark. I use it under my eyes. I use it around my mouth. I use it on my cheeks because I have like this natural looking contour, but it's really just a black spot. 
But anyways, this has been freaking awesome, you guys. You have to use this sparingly. I do believe I used this in my last makeup tutorial. I'll link that in the eye and the description down below. And I have more videos coming up makeup-wise, and you will see me use this because this has definitely become a staple for me. I truly love it. Next, I only have one lipstick, this um favorite, and I actually have two of them. I went out and bought another one because this is my color. I am currently wearing it on my lips. <laughs> it is just a pretty nude. It This is called Natural. And this is by Nika K. And it says Natural 934. If that will focus, I don't know. But it's only a dollar. Hello. At your local beauty supply store. And like I said, I went out and got another one. So now I have one for my, my uh, makeup bag. For my pocketbook. And then I have one for here at my vanity because this is clutch. I have been wearing nude. Usually I wear a bold lip. I like to wear a lot of purples, a lot of deep reds, things like that. But I have just rocking, been rocking a nude lip lately. I don't know why, but I am loving it. I love the way it looks. This color is so freaking pretty. Of course, I do have my lips lined with a brown lip liner, you guys. I use this one right here. I'm not sure who it's made from, but I got it from the beauty supply store too. It's one of those little um, non sharpable ones. And I line my lips and I put that on to blend it out because it does come off very, it's like a beige nude. It's not a pinky nude or anything. It's very beige. But as you can see, I am a woman of color and it looks very well. You just need to line your lips and blend it out. Absolutely love that. So I believe that's all I have in makeup, I believe. Next. This is kind of random. I don't know what category to put this in. Maybe I could have put this in skincare. Because this brush thing, <laughs> this was $1. I got this from Dollar Tree. And I got this, first I got this for my back. I wanted to be able to wash my back. Um, you know, back when you was little, you used to have your mom, well, my mom used to come in or my sister used to come in and wash my back. But I stay by myself now, so I don't have nobody to wash my back. So I bought this to wash my back. But why this made my favorites list, like, okay, Caress, it's just a brush. For my legs. On the bottom half of my legs, I don't know a medical term for it. I don't know what it is. I have yet to go to dermatologists and figure it out, which now I may not have to. The bottom of my legs have a different type of skin. It's like little, I don't know, it's so rough. First of all, it's like alligator skin. Like, I don't even put lotion on it because lotion does not even absorb into the skin. It just sits on top and it looks white and even more ashy. So, I only put oil on that part of my legs. And, like, the skin is just rough. It feels like little bumps. I have no idea, but it is the worst. So, I decided to use, instead of just using this on my back, I scrubbed my whole body with this. And, basically, I think it's called it an exfoliating brush. I think it is. But y'all, in just two times, just two shower washes of using this on those rough patches on my legs, OMG. I have lived with these rough patches all my life. I am, what, 28 years old? And I've always had these rough patches. All it took was two times using this brush, two times in the shower on those spots. It is completely smooth. It feels awesome. OMG. This... You guys, if you have rough skin, like rough, rough patches, like, and I use a rag and I use a loafer. I guess those weren't strong enough. I guess it needed these bristles. And the bristles are not that hard, you guys. But I guess it was just enough. So now I'm like, oh my God, now I need a, a brush for my face. I really want one of those exfoliating um, cleanser things now because this worked miracles for my legs, okay? Last time, I think this is it. I think this is last, and this is kind of random too, okay? You're like, what the heck is that? <laughs> Y'all, this is a drawstring pony little afro. I had to include this bad boy in the favorite because I have been sliding this thing on. I've been gelling this hair back, putting it in a ponytail, and putting this on. As you can see, I got this little wrap on today. Since I've cut my hair, I'll talk about it in a natural hair video, but I, I have kind of been like over my hair since I cut it. Because it's like I grew it for three years and then even though it's cut exactly how it needs to be cut now and now it's going to grow how I want it to grow in the nice little heart shape I don't know I'm kind of bummed about my length in the back and I'm just not willing to do anything with it so I have just been doing things like this throwing on my curly wig that I made I'll, I have a video for that I'll put that in the eye and 
Also, this lovely ponytail right here. I actually love this. It looks so natural with my hair texture. And I just gel my hair back and I put this poof on and it has been a lifesaver. Okay? So, you probably will be seeing that some more going throughout the spring and the summer. So, that is it for my March favorites, you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Please give this video a thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. Don't forget to live, learn, record, and then share, y'all. Smooches.